Hey guys, my name is Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net. Welcome to the short vlog on the tritone substitution, the tritone sub, which is uh, the, the infamous tritone sub, the first place to start when you want to do functional subs. Uh, information about the new instruments, because you guys will ask, found in the description below, that is a new Strandberg, which I love. Not endorsed, but I just love the instrument and started to play it recently. So tritone subs, uh, why do it? The best way to start substituting chords for one another is not random, is when the chords are functioning in the same way. So let me explain. If you are going from point A to point B, there's different routes you can take, right? So you could take the highway, or you could go here and go through the city, but you still wind up in the same place. So a chord in the middle that is substituted, the best chord to substitute at first, it's something that does the same job. And the tritone sub is a great example of this. So let's start with the key of E flat. So today I decided to be in the key of E flat major instead of being our typical C major, uh, just because I, it lends itself to guitar. So our first chord is F minor seven with a ninth here. And the second chord, that's our two chord. Then our five is here, right? That's a B flat 13. And then I like to use one E flat major nine like this. So let's do this in time. Three, four, one, two, a three, four, one, two, a three, four, one, two, a three, four, and that's it. Now the best place to get started with a substitution on a two, five, one like this is by substituting the five chord. So our B flat chord is the thing we want to substitute, and we will use an equivalent chord that is a tritone up or down. More about that later, and it will be an E chord. Natural as an open E chord. So our transition, our chord, instead of being F minor to B flat seven to E flat major, is gonna be F minor to E seven. I'll use an E nine here to an E flat. So let me just demonstrate this quickly. A one, a two, a three, a four. To E nine. E nine. Great, do it again. Two, get three, four, one. So now let's talk about how to wrap your head around this. And I use the B flat because you guys, you know Purple Haze, right? The Jimi Hendrix song. So that E7 sharp nine is the same shape as a B flat. You notice that's a B flat 13, you just change the root. Okay, so I like to think about tritone subs and I always think about tritone subs when I'm copying or improvising because instead of going F2, five, one, essentially what you do is two, flat two, one, two, flat two, one. So it's a really smooth descending line that is straight. So instead of thing, instead of jumping, it's just a linear line. So it makes so much sense and you can use that in your copying as we just did and you can use that in your improv. So the next step in doing this, of course, would be to apply it to different progressions. So if you fi find two five ones on songs you're playing, like All the Things You Are or Autumn Leaves, you can always do this especially if you're comping, because the, the chord has the same function, it has the same route. I'll get onto that later as far as function and how it really works on the theory. But for now, one thing you can wrap your head around really quickly is the two flat two uh, back to one. And also, why do we say tritone? What's the relationship? So a tritone is an interval, namely in between the note B flat or A sharp and E, there's, there's a tritone. The tritone is that which separates the octave in two equal parts. Let me repeat this. The tritone separates the octave in two equal parts. And here's why. You notice on the guitar we have 12, 12 frets. So that open E at the 12th fret, it's 12 notes. So we have 12 semitones or 12 half steps that we play music with, right? So when I say 12 semitones, it does mean it's six whole tones, six whole steps. So if I split this in half and I do three tones, then I have a tritone. So if you go from the B flat note and you go up one tone, up another tone, up a th third tone, you are, you are playing an E. So, and that's why I said early on, I said up or down, because since you're splitting the octave, you have this distance, you split it equally in half. It doesn't matter if you go up three tones or down three tones, you're gonna wind up in the same place. So the tritone sub is simply saying, hey, let me replace this chord that's functioning as a five 
let me replace it with something that's a triton on up or down from it and, and use the same chord function, uh, chord quality. So a dominant chord stays a dominant chord. So one of the best things you could do is to start to apply this. So I'll do one thing really slow in slow motion. We'll do it in E flat, then we'll do it in the key of um, C, just because C, and then we'll do it in the key of G, just to show you here's the standard 251 and then here's the triton sub. Let's get going. Okay, key of E flat major. So your two is F minor nine, and your regular five is B13, B flat 13, and then your one is here. Triton sub version, F minor nine, to E9, great, and back to one. And good job. Now let's go to the key of C. So our two chord is D minor nine, our five chord is G13, and our one chord is still C, major nine or C6 nine. How about our tritone? Well, our tritone sub is D minor nine to D flat nine. Oh, this reminds me of Girl from Panama a lot. Good. And now let's go to the key of G major. So our two chord is A minor seven. Our five chord is D nine. To a G, you can do G major seven if you want to do G six nine, G six. And now a tritone sub, A minor seven, A flat thirteen. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And here, here you go. That's your tritone sub in three keys. So now you can go and apply this on all the standards you know. Okay, so this is a more advanced segment of the video. If you want to know how it works and why it works, you have to understand chord components, so the scale degrees, right? So the way this works, you look at your, your chords, and what I like to put is your third and your seventh on the middle strings, on the D and G strings. So you do F minor like this, the third and the seventh, the seventh and the third for your B flat, and then your E flat major, you go uh, one, three, and seven. So if we just look at the B flat chord, you will wind up with B flat. A flat as the seventh and D as the third. Of course, if this goes way above your head, you don't need to know any of this to really play the tritone sub successfully. Uh, but if you're still sing singing around, thank you. Okay, so B flat, and then if you look at the next chord, tritone subbed, which is a functional sub, you have E, G sharp, and D. So you will notice that these two notes, the, the tritone in the middle, it, this is also a tritone, that's a third and seventh of B flat and that's also the third and seventh of E. Actually to be correct we'd say well that's a seven and third of B flat and that's a third and seventh of E. So it means that the two notes stay but their function change but the way this wants to resolve it is the same. In a classical sense it wants to go here. It wants to resolve very naturally like this. So whether we use this as our root or this as our root the resolution is the same. And in classical uh, terminology, in harmony, they call this the um, Napolitan, Napolitan Sixth, I think. You can put this up on Wikipedia or, or something. So this is a concept that's been used in classical music forever because you have two chords that are dominant, that are tritone, tritone away, and they share the same guide tone in the middle of it. So that's why it works so well and that's why it's so functional. And now, of course, there's more details about the theory of this, like which scale could you use on this? Oh, this winds up sounding like a B flat altered, uh, and this, you know, this and that. So there's plenty more to cover, which is again the kind of stuff I cover with my uh, Jazz Clark Accelerator students. Uh, so of course, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel, and you can head up to the blog on JazzGuitarLessons.net. Improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher for uh, plenty of standard songs and you know scales and chords, etc. So let me finish the video with a quick. Demo. Just the scales, the regular scales, F Dorian, B flat mixo, E flat major, then the tritone scales, E, arpeggios, B flat, E flat major, tritone arpeggios. Let me do that one again. F minor seven, E seven, E flat seven. 
some fun with arpeggios. Now just solo. Thanks guys, see you next time.